everything about decanting different wines and the time behind them. You may have heard of decanting wine before, but now it's time to learn what exactly that means. Wine is an amazing drink with many opportunities for exploration. The time it takes for the wine to decant in a particular type of bottle can vary from 5 to 60 minutes, depending on what kind of wine you're drinking. Now, some of you may think that it's a little bit complicated or not worth the effort, but I'll tell you why it really isn't. When we pour wine into a glass stray from the bottle, the air will oxidize the drink, which can change how it tastes, for better or worse. How long should you decant your wines? It's no wonder that wine is one of life's finer pleasures. The subtleties in each sip are what make it so enjoyable, and with a little know-how, you can better appreciate your selection for years to come. The duration of decanting can be crucial for a great tasting experience with time. If your vineyard aged red is opened at an early age, then it may need some patience from drinkers. Hence, it does not overdo any harshness in taste or smell. The process will help bring out more flavors and smells because their exposure does not happen immediately after being bottled up. Pinot Noir The debate over whether to decant Pinot Noir is an ongoing one for sommeliers. Some say you should never do it because the flavor of this light-bodied wine has few tannins and only ages from 2 to 18 years, depending on what type. Others argue that if handled correctly with respect, decanting should be 30 minutes to 1 hour, to make all those complex flavors come alive. Rioja Rioja wines are full-bodied and have a lingering taste. The maximum aging time for this vino is about 5 years, so they need more than 1 or 2 hours to be enjoyed at their best potential. Port Port is a wine known for its age because it can reach up to 50 years old and much of this aging happens in the bottle. With so much time spent maturing inside those barrels, sediments tend to form over decades. It's no wonder why vintage port needs decanting. Younger ports are decanted so they can breathe and taste better. If a port is less than 40 years old, it must first settle for 10 to 15 minutes before being drunk in order to release any sediment at the bottom of the bottle. Older wines should only take about 30 minutes max. After this, it is time to decant. Less than 40 years old ports should be decanted for 2 to 3 hours before serving, and older ones only take about 30 minutes to 1 hour. Burgundy Old Burgundy is a precious vintage that needs to be treated with care. They are low in tannins, so you don't need the time-consuming process of decanting it before drinking, because this could risk its wonderful fragrance. Old wines should instead simply be poured straight from their bottle into your wine glass, and they will aerate there as well. Thanks for swirling them around. The benefits of decanting are not limited to younger wines. It may be decanted so they can open up and release their best qualities. White Burgundies, in particular, can have an unpleasant smell when opened, so decant the wine for about 30 minutes. Take note that old Burgundy is very fragile, and they don't need to be decanted. Barallo Barallo wines are known for their bold and high tannin flavors which means that they should be decanted before enjoying. Barallos can take up to 3 to 8 hours of decanting if you want a smooth wine experience. If it is an older Barallo, decanting will just take less than 3 hours. Shiraz Shiraz is an exciting, bold and fruity wine. It has smoky flavors with a roundness that makes it dense in texture but relatively high on tannins content. It should rest in a decanter for about 2 hours. If they are more than 20 years old, they only need less time to decant. What do you put in a crystal decanter? In the old days, crystal decanters were used to store liquor instead of wine because they were much cheaper. Lead can be harmful and spoil your drink faster, but nowadays you'll find that many people opt for lead-free crystals, which simply contain glass in them due to rumors about its hazards on one's health over time. What do you put in a decanter? Decanters are a great way to provide the best tasting and most appealing drinks for your guests. The decanter will help elevate any wine, liquor, or juice in terms of taste as well presentation, which is why you'll find them used with many types of alcoholic beverages. While they can be used with juice or water to make non-alcoholic beverages as well, beer is not compatible. You know what they say, wine is better when it's opened up, but as with anything in life, you should be cautious and mindful of your choices because not all wines need to partake in this practice. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. 
Don't forget to subscribe to Advanced Mixology to learn fun facts about your favorite drinks and awesome bartending tips.